What up, September Ali here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, the past, the present, the future. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I was studying this week and came across a teaching that was just incredibly powerful. It coincides with a book that I'm also reading at this time called The Last Word on Power. I revisited some notes that I took four years ago and I've been in this study, this topic of being. Being, B-E-I-N-G, who you're being, an ontological approach to life. And the teaching was incredible. I want to share that with you today. This is going to be a very instructional and very informational, powerful teach for you today if you're you're ready to hear something. So here we go. I want you to imagine three filing cabinets. The The one cabinet's the future. One cabinet's the present. One cabinet's the past. And people, when they live life, you know, when something happens to you, you have a failure in business, you have a relationship that breaks your heart, Maybe when your children get sick, you have something that happens that's just not preferred. See, what powerful people do is powerful people file that in the past. Because the past is nowhere. It doesn't exist. While it happened, it doesn't currently exist in the present, right here, right now. That's what powerful people do. And for example, at the time I'm shooting this, the Golden State Warriors just swept the Cleveland Cavaliers in basketball. And a great athlete, like a powerful championship, Kobe Bryant, Mamba mentality type of athlete. In non-athletic terms, we would call this just a powerful business owner or an entrepreneur, a successful parent. These types of people, I'm going to refer to them as powerful people. These powerful people, when things happen to them, good or bad, preferred or non-preferred, positive or negative, again, different words we use to distinguish what we're talking about here. What happens is they put them in the past because the past is nowhere and the past doesn't exist. This is why powerful people can move forward regardless of bankruptcy, regardless of failures. It's like they have this chip in their brain that it doesn't even exist. They just keep going. It doesn't affect them like it affects the average man or the average woman. What non-powerful people do, instead of filing this inside of the past cabinet, what non-powerful people do, they file it where? in the future they put that inside of the future it's they put it in the wrong filing cabinet to the point that as they are in the present moving forward all they can see is that non-preferred non-powerful quote-unquote failure that's all they see And you can see why non-powerful people can never move ahead. You can see why non-powerful people have such a difficult time creating the impossible. It's because they place anything bad that happened to them, they place it in the future filing cabinet. By the way, I'm shooting this, I'm driving this E-Class loaner car while my my, my car gets fixed. It's a pretty fun car to drive. Back to the topic at hand, though. I want you to think of your life right now. Are you a powerful person who files things in the past? Like That's where they belong. Because the past is nowhere. It doesn't exist anymore. It it did, but did is the word that (laughs) references something in the past. Now, how does this relate to you? Every time I've been a powerful leader, I've had the tenacity or the resiliency to endure challenging and difficult times. Every time I've been that, it's because I powerfully and properly place in its place the things that have taken place into the past. Think about a man who goes through a divorce. Goes through a divorce, 
it's bitter, it's ugly. And instead of filing the relationship that did not work, which doesn't mean anything, right? It doesn't mean that he's bad or he's a, it just means that it didn't work. If he puts that in the future, some reason he just places him in the future. If that's what he does, he's going to struggle to go have a powerful new relationship because he's going to base it upon what happened in the past, but he's only looking into the future where he placed that thing. I want you to know it doesn't have to be that way. What would happen if this man who's going through a divorce or went through a divorce or going through just challenges with his ex, what if he could put that in the past where it belongs and powerfully move forward? He would go create a relationship based off of what he really wants versus what he had. So the same goes for a business owner. Let's take a mid-40 CEO lady who wants to create this enormous project that would really impact hundreds of thousands of millions of lives. And she cannot seem to get past herself because as she looks forward, moving forward, living in the present, doing what's right here, right now, all she can see is the failures of the past because she, for some reason, put it in the filing cabinet in the future. But what would happen if this CEO in her mid-40s placed it in the past? I'll tell you what would happen. She would have an experience that would allow her to go create the impossible. She would have an experience that would allow her to level up in such a way that She would have new eyes and new sight and new vision, not based off of anything in the past. This is what makes champions champions. This is what makes great people great. When when you hear about this phenomenon in sports called short memory, right? A quarterback throws three interceptions and still keeps throwing the ball. Uh, Steph Curry the other night misses... I think he went one for 11, right? It's, it was horrible. He couldn't, make a, he couldn't buy a bucket. And yet he continues to shoot. Why? Because he's a champion. He doesn't file things in the future. He files them in the past. If you're going to be powerful, my friends, this is what it's going to have to be. Now, how does this relate to the big four? Let's take a look at it. The physical realm. If you've been having a difficult time dropping those LBs, those pounds, or getting back into shape, or overcoming your addiction to either starvation or overeating or whatever other uh, disorders, eating disorders you have, what if you could just file everything in the past and start fresh and completely create a new way of being that says, hey, who would I have to be to go have this physical realm or this physical body health and fitness that would fuel my, my mind, my desires, that would give me energy and capacity? In the spiritual realm, so many people are tormented and beat up by guilt. To me, if you're a Christian, you believe in God and the devil, that's the, adver- that's the adversary's tool. Guilt. If dwell on the past. Think about the past. Of what you've done, but... While you think about the past, you're actually putting it in the future because the past is, doesn't exist. It's nowhere. What would happen if you could stop beating yourself up with guilt and you could just move forward powerfully to create a greater connection to your Father in Heaven, to your Savior, to God, in relationships? What might be possible if you just decided, I'm not going to look into the past, meaning I'm not going to place these things into the future. I want to put it in the past and the past doesn't exist and the past is behind me and I don't look behind me. I only look behind me to learn and to remember some of these great lessons and then I look forward with a level of possibility that allows me to create. Even if you're in a marriage, even if you've been short with your children, and you haven't been the greatest parent or haven't been present, and you've been more addicted to your cell phone or your electronics, your work, you could create something new right now because you would file everything that took place in the past, you'd file it in the past. 
not in the future, looking forward at it like, as if it's going to happen again. Of course, in the financial big four, right? Money, business, career, job, income. Looking forward with a hope of things to come, knowing that it's possible to create that. If what? If you look forward, not based upon the past being filed in the future filing cabinet. You're gonna have, you might need to listen to this one again. Because I'm being very intentional with the words I'm using. And yes, it is possible to create, which I'm going to follow up this podcast with another one. So do you place things in the past, the present, or the future? My invitation is if it's in the past, leave it in the past and look forward to the future without the filter of the past on there. You can create that relationship. Of course you can. You can have a greater marriage. You can be happy. You can be in peace. You can make more money if that's what you desire. Or you can be really happy where you're at with what you've got and be at peace without having to project past failures into the future. This is a Temangala reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promise, lands, and possibilities are waiting. The revolution has begun. Will you join me? I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.